welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. Craig Marduk. Undefeated for four years in the professional circuit, Craig Marduk was once a respected and feared Vali Tudo fighter. However, Craig was expelled from the professional ranks after being linked to a minor scandal. Bitter against his peers and society, Craig's wrath consumed his soul. One day, Craig started a bar brawl in Arizona and killed an opponent during the fight. Convicted of second-degree manslaughter, Craig was sentenced to 10 years in the state penitentiary. Two years later, Craig was mysteriously released from prison. Some anonymous benefactor had apparently paid off numerous judiciaries to arrange for Craig's release. An envelope was delivered to Craig shortly thereafter. It contained a plane ticket and a newspaper article about the King of Iron Fist Tournament Four. I'll break your face! Time to die. Final round. Fight. <laughs> You win. 
ground. Fight. <laughs> Craig Marduk? It is you. I used to watch your fights on TV all the time. I'm Jeff Slater, the current Val 2 champion. Hey, has the ex-champ forgotten how to fight? Come on, Marduk. Bring it on. It'll be the biggest unofficial bout of the century. The badass reigning champ versus the legend who disappeared in the wake of a scandal. All running away, huh? What's that? Afraid to see legendary fighter KO in the headlines? Don't buy. 
bother getting up. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. Nina Williams. After the King of Iron Fist Tournament 2, the Mishima Zaibatsu used Nina as a test subject for experimental cryogenics research. Fifteen years later, Nina was released from cryosleep to fight in the third tournament. She fought in the tournament while suffering from cryosleep-induced amnesia. Since then, Nina escaped from the reaches of the Mishima Zaibatsu and spent her days carrying out missions as a contract assassin. To this day, she has been unable to regain memories of Anna or her previous life. Without memories or anyone to rely on, the only thing she could do was to execute her contracts for money. One day, Nina accepted a contract from a mafia organization. The target of the contract was Steve Fox, a world boxing champion. Nina infiltrated the tournament and set her sights on her new target. to die. Come on. Final round. Fight. Uh!
What a Win. nuisance.
beast! Look out! Thanks. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament Goal, Brian Fury. Brian realized that the end of his life was near. There was only one person who could change this, Dr. Abel, his creator. But Abel abandoned him two years ago, when the Mishima Zaibatsu recruited him as its top scientific advisor. Brian despised the both of them, Mishima Zaibatsu for taking Abel away from him, and Abel himself for abandoning him. One day, news of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4 reached Brian, and he decided to enter the tournament. Despite his impending death, Brian's body flowed with energy, making him more powerful than before. Along with this new strength, Brian developed an uncontrollable rage that manifested itself in his outward physical appearance. Brian stakes everything on one hope, that if he defeats Heihachi Mishima, he will become the head of Mishima Zaibatsu. If all goes according to plan, Brian would command Abel to modify his body, thus becoming the most powerful being in existence once again. Final round. Fight. Fight! <laughs> 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 
time to die. Final round. Fight. <laughs> who saved you? He did. I'm certain you're wondering why. It's because we need your cooperation. By mechanizing you, I will extend your lifespan. In return, I will keep your original body. You see, the key to defeating Abel's bioweapon is contained within your body. Understand? Well, 
Shall we get started then? This will be the start of a new future for you, as well as us. When you wake, it will feel as though only a moment has passed. But in reality, a year will have gone by. You will be completely reborn in a new body. All right? Sweet dreams. <laughs>